you know what? I'm gonna spin. I'm gonna spin the boat around. So I'm gonna go back through this 50-yard section. There's fish on the inside of this weed line here, pretty good. You don't leave biting fish to look for more biting fish. Old tournament rule: when they're there, get everything that wants to chew. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, you just turned the boat around and my first cast, like that, got one up there. This is my absolute favorite fish to catch, smallmouth bass, boy when I can get on them like this, this is so much fun. Come here, another good man, wow, wow. Boy, that's my dad's fighting one right now. Oh, depth and speed are very important, and especially when I'm targeting smallmouth this size. Shape, size, action is very important. And four inch, that's the magic number when it comes to targeting big trophy smallmouth like this. In general, three different styles of soft baits excel for smallmouth bass based on how you present them. For swimming retrieves, the classic four inch swimming grub is a consistent producer, especially when smooth, gentle swimming motions work best. A throbbing paddle tail minnow is a more aggressive option, while a fork tail minnow is a subtler choice. All three of these profiles work particularly well when smallmouth are feeding on minnows. For bottom bouncing, a Trigger X 4-inch tube or flap and grub works wherever smallmouth swim. Our favorite delivery system is a VMC Half Moon Jig Head, lift dropped on and off or scratched along the bottom. For really inactive smallies, we like either a 4-inch flutter worm dressed on a 1 ounce Half Moon Jig Head or a drop shot setup using a 4-inch Trigger X Probe Worm or Trigger X Minnow. VMC's unique spin shot hook eliminates line twist and enhances soft bait action. Realistically, these baits will catch smallmouth bass anywhere in the country under virtually any conditions. He ain't got one bigger than that one. Uh, yeah, that one's... Maybe he does. I don't know. Well, he's landed. No, no, mine be. He's oh. got a white running three pounder. I'm talking some real fish here. You know these these high percentage spawning areas in the in these flats. When you look at a flat, and the water temperature starts getting into around 50 degrees, there's certain things you look for. Prior to this, these fish were on these inside corners on the sharp vertical breaks, and as that water starts going up. These babies start coming out of that deep water and moves out on these flats with the scattered rocks. When she gets to 50s, that's what where you're going. And on calm days, you can see these fish swimming up in droves on some lakes. Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com. And thanks for watching.